So at CDU, I'm a PhD candidate at the Research Institute for the Environment and Livelihoods. And I'm looking at the above ground tree biomass in the savannah using 3D LiDAR scanning to build very detailed 3D images of trees so I can work out exactly how much biomass is in each individual tree. I actually did my undergrad here in, at CDU in environmental science and what I liked about it is that there were a lot of different, very different subjects that you could study and to my surprise, or maybe it shouldn't have been, I really really liked the remote sensing aspect and I was really intrigued by the ecology aspect as well. So when I saw this technology, I just saw the potential in it. Knowing um, the challenges of ecology in the top end and just seeing what this data could potentially do, I thought, yes, okay, I may actually be doing a PhD. The scanner sends out a laser beam and based on the time it takes for the laser beam to come back, it works out exactly how far the nearest object is based on the speed of light. And during a single scan, it sends out millions of laser beams. So you get millions of points in 3D space. That's called a point cloud and that's what we call our data. And from that we can build 3D models of individual trees. So the benefit is that if you go outside and look at the trees in the savannah, no tree looks the same. They've all been mangled by, by fire, by storms, by termites. So what we usually do, what we have been doing for probably hundreds of years to work out the biomass of a tree, is we take the diameter and from there we use a formula to estimate how much biomass is in there. Now that really depends on every tree being very similar in shape and size. And that works if you're in a pine forest in Europe. It doesn't really work that well in the savannah. I'm really excited about finishing my PhD at CDU and hope that I can make a positive contribution to vegetation management in the savannah.